This is a tutorial for ProGCAD for setting up your Imperial Border template. So to start off with, I'm going to go to File, Open, and go down to Drawing Templates. And I've already created my Imperial template in the previous assignment, so I will open that up. And basically it comes up and I just ensure that it's the right file. I have all my different layers set up right there. And in the bottom corner, I will find 00, zero and in the upper right corner, I will find 11, eight and a half approximately. So this is the correct template. Let's get started. So the border needs to have a quarter inch spacing all the way around and a three quarter inch space at the top for when you put hole punches in and put it back into a book. So I'm going to start off with creating lines and creating the outside of the border. So I click on line. My start point is 0.25 comma 0.25 and I'm just text entering it by text. And I can go along here and I can actually watch the length at the bottom of the screen and go to 10 and a half. Okay, so right there. And if I click, then I get set up. If I want to continue up and I don't know exactly where I want to go or I know the precise distance, what I can do is go at 7.5 at an angle of 90 and it will put me the line the correct height. Then I can type at 10.5 at an angle 180 and that will take me to there and finally the letter C to close and it closes off the, the square. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to offset the bottom line to reflect three quarters of an inch high. So I'll type in offset. Grab the distance is going to be 0.75. Select the entity as the bottom one. And then I just click anywhere higher up and it automatically puts it in. Now in the instructions it says to create lines over on the left for the title, or sorry, for the your name, the scale, the date. And it doesn't give me specific sizes. So I'm just going to guess at those. So I'm going to select line. Now what's going to happen is I have my eSnap set up and it won't let me just go where I want to right now. So I actually have to go to the eSnap, right mouse click, settings, and instead of midpoint, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to go nearest and that's the nearest point that I'm clicking to. So I'll then create one, let's say about there. I'll click and come down and right mouse click to end it. Hit the space bar, it brings it back and I'll put another one right here, click straight down, right mouse click to end it, and I'll create a final one over the far side. So hit spacebar and click and click down and right mouse click to end. So there's the basics of my title block so far. Now I need to divide this one in half. So what I do is I go back to my E snaps again, right mouse click settings, and instead of nearest, I'm going to go midpoint. And what midpoint allows me to do is find the midpoint of this line to draw it across. So I click on line. There is my midpoint. Click on it and I'm going to go and what's going to happen is you can see my snaps not set up. So I'm actually going to go right away leaving the line turned on and go to ortho and click ortho. And what that does makes allows me only to do a straight line. So if I click here you're going to see the midpoint. I'm going to click past it and I'll right mouse click and end it. Now the line's a bit too long so I can do one of two things. I can simply click on the line and drag it shorter or I can type trim, the command you've learned before. I'll select this line here, right mouse click, and then left click on the part I want to get rid of. And there we go. So now I have the basics of my drawing border done. What I need to do now is add some text in to actually show what I want for um, what these areas are. So I'm going to zoom in, Z for zoom, W for window, and I will then just zoom right into here so I have a little bit more area to work with. Okay, so text. Type in text. And start point, I'm just going to pick right now, I'll just pick right here. You can see my snaps jumping all over the place. We'll fix that in a minute. Click snap. The text height is 0 0.05. The rotation angle is 0. And the text I'm going to put in is going to be name. I'm going to put semicolons, and there's the word name. I'm going to hit the space bar to bring text back again. Click right here, height of text, same size, hit enter, rotation angle, hit enter. Text is going to be date, semicolon, or colon. And then over here, I'm going to put in hit space bar, click, text height entered, rotation enter, and the text is going to be scale. 
Okay, those are my three. Now the problem is I'm in the wrong spots and I need to move them. But my snap's on too big and it snaps to place. And I don't want to take the snap off because otherwise I can't line them up nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm just actually going to type in snap, enter, and I'm going to change the snap spacing to 0 0.0625. Hit enter, and now I'm ready to go. So I can grab my name, and now holding the left mouse button down, I can just move it to where I want. Now, my problem is I got ortho on, and I can't move it where I want it right now. So I'm going to click, turn ortho off. Now I'll grab it, and I can move it to where I want. And I'm just going to move it up into the corner there. Oops. And I'm just going to undo that for a second. Undo. Undo. Now, what's happened is I've also got my e-snaps on, and i got to make sure they're turned off so that I don't actually end up having the name go to the wrong spot. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to get it to right about there. That's close enough. No, I'm going to go one higher. There we go. There's my name. Hit escape. I'm going to date now. And I'll move it up one. There's my date. Hit escape. And up the scale. And I'll move it over. And right there. Scale about one higher. Right there. So there's scale now. Okay, now if I just zoom out. So Z, A for all. And now I zoom out. And there's my basic template done. The last thing I need to do is just go to the internet, copy, and then paste in the logo or create my own logo down here. Just so that it makes it different than everybody else's. That's basically how to set up the Imperial template border. Once I'm done, I want this as a template. So I'm going to go File, Save As. I go down here to Templates. And then I would save it as Imperial, temp Imperial Border. Now you can already see I have one done, so I'm not going to save over top of it. But simply saving it, done, it's a template. And then whenever I open up my drawings, I will have that blank template to be used for any drawings that I do in the class. And I've also got all the settings set up so they're all correct. That's how you do the Imperial template.